Okay, guys, I am back. I don't know what happened there. I lost connection for some reason. It went down for just a second. So I got back up for on the same feed for just a minute, but then I lost it again. So um, I still don't have my pop-out chat, so I'm going to bring it up on my phone. That was weird. I don't know what happened, but hold on. Let me see. Let me turn the sound down and see if y'all are still with me. Um, that was very weird. So, you know what? I might have forgotten to turn some stuff off in the back, but let me open this in my phone. So I can see you. So I can see you. Okay, guys. Um, let me turn my phone down so I'm not. All right. I'm going to have to watch the chat on my phone because I can't get it back. I don't know what that was. Something really weird happened. Uh, you know what? It might be because I forgot to turn the TV off in the living room. So hold on and let me go do that. It might be interfering with my connection. Give me a second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Is um, is that better? Can you see me now? Oh, wow, that was weird. Hi, Karen, Carol, Selena, um, Patricia. So, yeah, I've never had that happen before, and I kind of panicked, but I did get it back up, like I said, for a second, and then it went down again, and then I couldn't get it back up at all, so... Um, I just started a new one and I apologize guys. So I hope everybody that was in the old one finds me. Um, if not, they'll be able to watch it on the replay, but, um, back to, uh, the estate sale. So I showed you the cufflinks and I think I was showing you the ring when it went down, but I did test these, um, stones around here and they are diamonds. They're little diamond chips. And I, I actually got a pretty good deal on that. But I will list that. Like I said, it's a really tiny size. It's like a three and a half or not even a three and a half. I think it was just under that, like a three and a quarter. So it's a um, pinky ring. Oh, thank you, Carol. Hi, Melissa. Thank you for coming back. Yes, Selena, I do hope you're feeling better. I know San Juana wasn't feeling good yesterday, and I hope she's feeling better today, too. All right, do you have really small fingers, Sharon? Because that is very small. Hi, Martha. Um, and then these were in there. Uh, these were, there were three pairs that were in a little baggie for $3. And I spotted a pair of Monet's in there. So I grabbed those. And like I said, some of you, if you watched Mike's show yesterday, thank you all for coming to that. And um, you probably saw some of this on his show yesterday. But um, these Monet's were in there and they're vintage and they're in really good condition as all Monet is. And that's why I bought the the little thing, but it did the little baggie that had three pairs in it for $3. But it turned out all three pairs were signed pairs that were in the bag. And I, well, actually, I think they go this way. These are enameled, kind of a, almost a not tan or peach. It's really a light peach color, almost a pale salmon. And I know they said patent pending. I can't remember what the brand was on these. Oh, I think I didn't recognize the brand. It has the mark F-O, and I haven't researched it. No problem, San Juan. I know you weren't feeling well. Hi, Bougie Bear. Hi, Carla. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It, uh, it went down, and I think it was because my husband's on the Internet in the bedroom, and I also forgot to turn my um, TV off in the living room, so I think it just... Uh, the internet just sort of had a hiccup there, but, um, yeah, so I had, I got back up for a minute, but then I had to restart it. So that was the second pair in that. And then these are, um, can't remember what these were. These are, I think these are, I want to say, uh, Sarah Coventry. That's what these are. 
these are Sarah Coventry and these look pretty old too. Um, but those, those were $3. So they were like a dollar a pair, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, never pass those, that kind of deal up because even if you don't sell them, you can give them away as a free gift. And then this, I love this. This was a favorite thing I bought yesterday. It's, um, Sterling and it is marked, um, 925, I believe. Yeah, it's Mark 925, and it's Mexico. It says Mexico right here, and I always test all the Mexico to make sure, and this did test um, silver when I tested it. But nice bracelet. It's a good size, so I'll probably wear that one for a few days before I list it, but I will eventually list that. But pretty good bracelet, and I think I paid... I paid 25 for it, so I paid up, but um, I think I can I can still do well on it if I decide to sell it. Yes, plastic. I do have some set aside for you, Selena, that I am going to get in the mail in the next week or so. Hi, Velvet. How are you? Hi, Erin. My daughter-in-law's here. And hi, Mike. Speaking of my daughter-in-law, uh, my daughter-in-law does make jewelry. I have some stuff to show you of hers that I'm going to list. Um, let me get show you these uh, two purses real quick. I did find two um, Whiting Davis purses. Like I said, these people had like a huge, huge house and stuff was kind of pricey there. It was like a mansion. So there was a lot of high dollar items. So I, you know, did find a few things I could afford, but most of it was pretty expensive. But I found these two Whiting Davis. They're... Um, Marked on the inside, smells like perfume, so I'm going to have to air it out. They do have the Whiting Davis on the inside, and um, they have the little tag, and I'm not sure. I think these are vintage, but I'm not sure how old they are. I'm going to have to look it up, but they do have the Whiting Davis tag, and this one has sort of a, I think it's faux leather, sort of a leather. I'll have to look and see, but I think it's faux. But it's um, lined with leather, and then it has the black metal mesh. So um, I'll probably list that, too. I won't keep this because I already have quite a few of these type of handbags. So I'll probably list it. And then this one, this one was my favorite one. This is also a Whiting Davis. It has the... Um, has a little tag, and I think this one might be a little bit older than the other one. Also, it is this one's in um, really good shape, but there is some lipstick stain on the bottom. I think it's lipstick, so I'm going to have to try and get that out. Anybody have any ideas of how to get lipstick out of fabric? You have these um, in every color, Thelma. The um, Whiting Davis. Oh, please don't do that. Okay. For a minute, my thing was, uh, yeah, it's not now. So y'all are back. But anyways, that was the second bag. So that's everything I got at that sale. Like I said, it was kind of expensive. So I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, I usually try and hit the first day to see if there's anything I just can't pass up. And then I'll go back. Um, if I see something I want to check out, I'll go back later when they um, start doing the markdowns. So next I have, um, you sold them? Good. I think I'm going to put these up so and see how they do. I know Whiting and Davis is fairly popular. So with Dawn Dish Soap, Bougie, I'm going to give that a try. Because really it's the only thing that's wrong with that. So my daughter-in-law, as I told you guys, uh, my son just is down in Florida right now in A school. And my daughter-in-law just left over this end of last week to join him down there. And she gave me some things to list for her while she's gone. And one of the things that she gave me, this she didn't make, but she gave me a couple of boxes of jewelry from a company called Unique by Yan Bull International and I looked it up and it's a Colombian it's a company from I guess they make it in Peru and Colombia and all of their stuff is plated in it says 24 karat gold 99.9 .9 pure silver or palladium so it is costume but it's all plated with some kind of precious metal and these are brand new they're in the box I will list these this does have um, rhinestones 
the long hair. It's a really cute fashion ring, though. Kind of like pounded silver. And this is also small. Where's my ring sizer? Let me see if it's in my drawer. Here's my... Let me see what size this is. It's a nice wide band, and it's very well made. It is a four and a half, so really small. If y'all are familiar with this brand and have sold any of it, let leave me a comment and let me know how well it did. I have no idea what to list it for because I didn't see. I did see some stuff um, listed, but most of what I saw was new. I didn't see any like used. Uh, size six, Aaron. Okay, um, that's a six. Okay, it just measured a five and a half. I'll remeasure it or a four and a half and then these whoops these earrings which are also new in the box and i believe these these look like they could be silver plated the other ones look like the ring looks like palladium um, but they are very nice quality they're good quality um let me know if you've sold any of this brand anybody let and uh leave me a comment on how well you did on it so those two I will get listed. And then these are necklaces that my daughter-in-law makes. And um, these are beautiful. These, I think there might be, this might be a mixture because this almost looks like the Chinese turquoise here. Um, but the rest of it looks like um, dyed halite. So, and that also looks like the Chinese turquoise. So this might be a mixture of, um, turquoise and halite and it is a combination of glass and acrylic beads and this I will list on eBay so if anybody is interested in buying any of these necklaces that my daughter-in-law makes I'll have them listed on eBay and then this one is really cool I love this this is a tree of life and it's um, the stones in here are unikite, I think you pronounce it. And am I saying that right, Sandy, if you're still in? And then I believe these are mostly glass beads, glass and metal beads. Um, but this one is really pretty too. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And that will, it's kind of two-sided too, but that will go on my eBay. And this is orange. Anybody looking, it's color orange colors. Anybody looking for orange jewelry. I know everybody always says they have a hard time finding it, but different um, fall, winter colors. So, And let me see what else I have here. And this one is also um, halite. And I do think that these pieces right here might be turquoise these little slices here the rest of it is dyed halite and it is all glass beads on this one so um, this one will also get listed on ebay um, but they're well made and it is good quality beads and i will um, figure out whether or not these pieces are because the matrixing in these two slices does not look like um it's similar, but it does not look like the matrix thing you see in Halite. You can see the difference there. Um, so I don't think those are, but I'll, I'll figure it out before I list it. You're trying to downsize me too. Um, but it's like an addiction. You just keep buying it. And this is beautiful too. The colors in this, it's grays and teals and kind of a, well, not really till maybe sea foam. And I believe that stone to be adventuring, but that is stone there in the pendant hanging from it. And these are faux pearls and glass beads. So it, it is quality material. So this one is really pretty too. And that will also go on my eBay. Okay, I did get a couple of... Um, Auction wins in the mail. Um, so let me open those real quick. Let's see. And then we'll go to a jar. Um, this I bought from, this was an auction win. This I bought from eBay and it came from, I guess, Van Erm family, I think was the site. I had never bought um, 
anything from them before and I haven't opened it yet. So we're going to find out together. It was supposed to be five pieces of vintage jewelry. I think I paid like $14.95. So let's see if I got a good deal or if I need to cross that seller off my list. If I can open it without cutting the jewelry. Hi, Granny Josie. Hi, Liz. I didn't see you, Liz. If you're in there, hello. If it's Liz Smith, your package is on its way. Okay, and I did say, she kind of asked, you know, what things do you not want to get? And I said, no acrylic beads. So let's see what she gave me. Okay, so this is pretty. This is stone. This is some kind of agate. So this is nice. I like this. So that itself probably is worth the cost. And look at that one. That one's really pretty. It's like some kind of a lace agate. So this one itself is probably worth the $14.95 that I paid for it. But this is a pretty necklace. Nice colors. Nice good winter necklace. Heavy. So it was supposed to be five pieces. Um... And this bracelet, bracelet has some color wear, does look vintage for sure. It does have some color wear. You can see that from it being up against the skin. The front isn't too bad, so I'd have to clean it up to see um, how it looks after it's cleaned up. But um, no, nothing, it's not signed though. Okay, and then the butterfly necklace on a chain and does have a vintage class. So it is vintage, but it's not signed. It is a cute necklace. Um, so far it's not too bad, but it's nothing different than I do like the one stone necklace, but it's high Nancy, but I don't think it, um, is anything unusual that I don't get in jars already. So I don't know that I would, cause I can probably spend 14 95 on a jar and get an equivalent amount of stuff. So don't know that I would order from there again. Um, I just thought I would try it. These are vintage too. These are kind of lightweight. They're not signed. So there was supposed to be some signed in here, but I don't, I don't see anything. Well, maybe this is signed. This is kind of cute. Looks like a resin, um, like a cabbage rose almost, like a sweater clip. I don't know. Does anybody have any luck selling setter, sweater clips? Do they sell? I don't know if there anybody uses them anymore. I uh, can't really read it. Yeah, I think I ordered this way back when I couldn't find any jars and I was sort of panicking. But um, yeah, it just says patent pending. So I do believe this to be vintage, but I don't see a name on it. So that was a little bit misleading. It did say there would be signed jewelry, but none of those pieces were signed. So chalk that one off the list. Um, yeah, Karen, Shop Goodwill is expensive on the shipping and handling. Um, sometimes you can get the one cent shipping, but not very often. And this came from Elizabeth's auction, probably not last week, but the week before. Um, I just took me a while to go get it out of my P.O. box and then I've been saving it for this. Oh yeah. So I love these necklaces. I think I paid like $8 in um, Elizabeth's auction because I wanted one of these. And then soon as I bought this, I found a jar that has one in it, but I think I like this one better. I like the, um, the pendant or the bead that's on that. But I've been wanting one of these for a while now. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but you can um, mold it and shape it in any form or direction that you want. I know Texas Gal Treasure, um, 
has said that she has sold quite a few of these and she does really well on them. I can't remember what um, she said she lists them for, but she's done really well on them. So if you get one, list it. Yeah, if you have it, um, list it, um, Melissa, because they do well. Okay, and then this also was from um, Elizabeth's auction. I think these are Vermeil, if I remember right. These are really cute. I love this. I don't remember, but I remember this being a silver lot that I bought, and I will have to check it out. But I think they might be for me, but I'll check them out later. Um, but I'm sure I will probably list those either way because those are really cute. And then these are, these are also silver. Trying to figure out, they're kind of art deco looking. Those are really cute though. And I think they're marked. Yeah, I think there's a mark on there. And they do have an open back on that stone. So I will check those out closer later. And you will probably see those listed. And these are gorgeous. These look um, Native American. It looks like Mother of Pearl, Turquoise, and a red stone. I don't know if it is. No, it's a purple and it's got moonstone, uh, mother of pearl, and I can't remember. I'm not sure what the purple stone is, and then the um, turquoise. But these are also set in silver. These are really cute. So I may or may not keep those. If I decide not to keep them, you'll see them listed. And then the last one are these little pearl. These are very tiny and delicate. These are really cute. I think these are also marked. It looks like these might be an actual pearl, so I'll check them out later. And um, the back also looks like a gold back. But um, anyways, I will check them out later, and y'all may see them listed. Let me get that out of the way, and we'll start a jar. It might be spiny oyster, Liz, yes. Um, they do use that it all um it is one of the elements native americans use a lot um they but they do look native you get some of this junk out of the way so i have room for jewelry got a table back here let me clear my junk oh yeah and one thing i forgot on the estate sale was this um pearl necklace it's uh fresh water and this was a really good deal I paid $6 for that at the estate sale. So that was a really good deal, I thought. Okay, um, jar. Let's open it. I got a really big jar, so we may not get through the entire jar. So what I don't get through on this video, I'm going to scoot you back a little bit. What I don't get through on this video, I will um, film and we'll go through the rest of it film. I got this one at Goodwill and this was $25.25 and um, it's huge though. This is probably the most I've ever had to pay at for a jar at my Goodwill um, is $25 and usually I have a coupon. So I get the 20% um, off. So I paid probably whatever 25% off of, I mean, 20% off of 25 is. Mm. 
Uh, I think I'm losing you guys in the chat. Hold on. Let me refresh here. Are y'all still there in the chat? Oh, it makes me mad that messed up. I'm going to have to uh, have a contingency plan if that happens again. Okay, I see you back now. Um, they give at, it's not really coupons, um, and a lot of our stores do the, like, military appreciation, and they also do, um, like, senior citizen discount, which I qualify for senior citizen discount, shamefully. Um, but they also, but this one doesn't do any of that. They have a punch card that every time you purchase um, $15 or more, they punch that card. And I think it's like four or five punches. When you fill up um, all of the punches, then you get a 20 or 30% discount off of your purchase. Pull some of this out. So as I was saying, I really, really wanted one of those necklaces and I just never got one. And I kept seeing everybody else get them. So I bought that one from Liz and then guess what? I got another one in a jar. This one is a little different than the other one. It's a gunmetal. Um, this is why I bought the jar because I saw the necklace in it. But even though I knew this one was coming, I think I like this one better, but um you know, at least I have two of them now. So I will probably list at least one of these. Um, but those are cool. Let me see what else. Hi, Kathleen Brandt. And yeah, Goodwill just, they're getting like really tight. Somebody was saying and I don't remember who that was just in the last day or two that their goodwill said they are going to stop. And I think it might've been um, Roland Picker, his daughter on her channel that her, their goodwill said that they were going to stop listing so much on goodwill on shop goodwill that they were going to concentrate on area stores. Okay, here's a cuff bracelet. It is missing a lot of stones and it has a lot of wear. So it looks like it might be marked. Let's see if it what name it is to see if it's worth trying to clean up. Carol Lee. Oh, lost it. Carol Lee. So I'll have to look that up to see if it's worth cleaning up and replacing the stones. It would be pretty, though, if it was cleaned up and the stones replaced. It um, has seen better days, but it is. It's like really tarnished. Um, but it is a pretty bracelet. You know I like my rhinestones. Okay, not a clue what this is. It's just on a cord with a barrel clasp and it's a like a ceramic or glass bead actually and it has that coming out of it so I don't know if it had a tassel or something that came out of this and it lost it um, but yeah there you go I'm guessing something was coming out of there maybe a tassel <laughs> yeah, no shame. I ha I'm okay with being a senior. My husband gives me a hard time about it, but um, that's only because I'm like eight years older than him. So he feels the need to teach me about that. And a red twisted metal bangle just looks like painted bangle. Okay. These look new. They're still on the card. These are actually kind of cool. It's a, it's a brushed gold and they are clip-on. Just says fashion earrings there. No clue as to what designer. I don't even think they're metal. It looks like a resin, a painted resin. But they are new. And just a plastic stone in the middle. This is pretty. Big butterfly cloisonne butterfly pendant. 
Looks like it had something hanging from, oh no, that's just the, where the pin is going through it, but it looks like it was hanging on something, but I probably have a chain that will work on, but that's really pretty. It's a pretty purple color. Shipping is, Tricia. Um, hi, Rebecca. I had been like taking, when I ship through like eBay or Etsy or Poshmark, I use their shipping and particularly with eBay and Etsy because it is much cheaper than you can just walk into the post office and pay yourself. But Angie, if Angie's in there from Treasured Vintage, she turned me on to a place the other day called um, Pirate Ship. And so I started using them for packages that I ship myself for stuff I sell, not on eBay. And it is pretty much the same rates, like the three, I think you get um, for something I usually would mail that's like maybe two or three ounces on Etsy or eBay, cost about two sixty six to ship. And on, um, yeah, Angie's on there. Hi, Angie. You know, I was just telling them about um, the pirate ship that you turned me on to and so on ebay or on when i shipped things when i used that it was the same price like the 266 for a two or three ounce item and so it, if you haven't tried that try it you just have to have a kitchen scale or something that weighs in ounces but it um saved me a lot of money so i was very happy and now that angie's here yeah um at shop goodwill um sandy it is it's not so much the shipping that gets you, it's that handling, but some of them don't charge that much for shipping and some of them do. I think it depends on which area your package is coming from. But while Angie's on here, so I had told you guys last week and poor Angie, she was so heart, so heartbroken um, that I had a surprise that Angie had um, was sending me something and we were both really, really excited about it. And then she got an email like the next day or so. And I probably should have waited and till I got it to tell you all, but she um, got an email the next day saying that the order was canceled. They had refunded her money back because the item they didn't have in stock any longer. So I felt so bad for Angie. It crushed her, but it was the Monet book. So that was like the sweetest gesture ever that she ordered that Monet book for me. I mean, even if the order, I still like am really flattered that she even thought of me to order that book. But um, so don't feel bad, Angie. Um, like we said, if I meant to have that book, another one will turn up. But anyways, enough yakking. This feels like um, some stone. The red is definitely coral. You can see the actual um i don't know the you can see the striations and stuff in the coral the black i don't know it could be onyx it looks like it's maybe onyx and it says um dream and it could be glass though the black could be glass but it says dream but it does feel and look like stone um, looks like maybe somebody made that and then i got a lot of these I don't know if these are the ones that hold your sleeves up or if they're just stretchies. But these are bright colors, pink and that sort of fluorescent red. But they do look just like the bracelets that you use to hold your sleeves up. And then another red one. And here's a blue one. A lot of mesh in here. Here's a blue one, but it is not stretchy. It's just a bangle, blue bangle. Anything good in here? Okay, so what the heck is this, guys? I've been seeing this in the jar and trying to figure out what this is. It doesn't open. It doesn't. It's heavy as I don't know what. There's no hole. It almost looks like a piping tip, but there's no hole in it. And it just looks like a handbag. No idea. Anybody have any idea what that might be? Um, I go to work on Tuesday. Um, and I will go to my box and pick that up for Google Gal. 
I'm sure it's there. I w don't worry about it. Is is that a wine star? Yes. Thank you. You know what? Because I <laughs> could not figure that out. That you're right. I don't know why I never even thought of a wine stopper. So that's kind of cool now, actually, now that I look at it. So not jewelry, but cool. Thanks, Liz. Liz, you are a wealth of information. You always know what that oddball stuff is when I get it. These are kind of cool. Miss Rockwell. It looks like actual business cards. So this might be somebody's like home business. It says Miss Rockwell racks. Those are cute though. And it looks like they were selling them for $15.99. Those are nice and heavy though. Those are well made. I don't know if y'all um, recognize that brand. Miss Rockwell's let me know. Otherwise I think looks like they might have made up these cards. and. Um, might be somebody's home business. Okay, let's see. Oh, huge hoop. hoop. There you go, Selena. Huge hoop. Hopefully the mate's in there. If it is, that's going to be in your pile. Told you there's a lot of mesh in here. Another mesh. I guess it was part of a bracelet there is nothing on it this will go in my craft lot it's gold tone yeah that was weird wasn't it granny <laughs> hi sherry how are you so this bracelet i've been trying to get everything untangled it's kind of cool looking it's really big bracelet and it has rhinestones there's a couple missing it's kind of cool looking though but it's huge it goes over even see how big it is it's missing a couple of rhinestones and it needs cleaned up but i don't see any names um, but that, i kind of like that one if it were smaller just a little slider type then a chain slides through it no chain but just a slider it looks like it's a gold tone believe i get a lot of these for some reason this will go either in a craft lot or a lot for a little little girl it's the faux green suede says believe and of course all the bangles this one feels hollow yeah it feels like a hollow tube no marks so yes I better get my magnet because the one time I don't check it no nope, there'll be a silver one in there okay no idea what these are but there are a couple of them of different colors in here i don't see any holes in them anywhere does look like they had rhinestones or something right there that fell out but yeah not sure what those are anybody know what those are I did notice a couple of them in the bottom of the thing, though. Here's a big statement piece, black acrylic. And this one's actually set pretty nice. Don't like the chain, but if you like statement pieces, this one's not bad. This one would be kind of cute with a little black dress.
Hi, Jackie. My sister's here. Oh, by the way, you know what? I always forget to tell you guys this. Every time um, we start talking about uh, me being a nurse, I forget to tell you that there are a lot of nurses in my family. My sister, Jackie, that's in the um, chat now. She's also a nurse. Uh, my husband's mother-in-law, she's a nurse. She was a nurse for like 40 something years and just recently retired. And my sister, Melody, that sometimes comes in the chat, she's a medical assistant. Um, she hasn't done that work for a while, but, um, and then my sister who just passed, she was a nurse's aide. So we've, <laughs> we've done a lot of that. Um, we've got a lot of nurses in the family. This is kind of cool. The statement piece, it's on a like snake type chain. I don't see any marks on it anywhere, but those are pretty cool. All these are, and they look like they all have their um, stones that are all in there. And they each have two holes in them like that. So you could probably do, I don't know if this was maybe a bracelet that broke or something and somebody restrung it on here, but those are kind of neat looking. So you could make that into a bracelet, I guess, but I kind of like it as a necklace. Pretty. Looks like all glass stones too. So those are fairly well made. Actually, there might be a mark on that. Let me look here real quick. No, not a mark, just a defect in the metal. Sorry, I keep getting stuff pop up on my screen from my email, like ding, ding, dings all day long. Okay, a charm type bracelet. This one's kind of neat. Oh, check these beads out. They're open, but they're almost like they twisted wire around a something. I don't know what you would put in the middle, but that's kind of cool. I don't know if they bought them that way or made them, but that's kind of nice. Yeah, no name. Actually, I don't even see a... Don't even see any kind of a, nope, I don't see any kind of a clasp on here, so not sure about that one, unless maybe that was hanging on something else. It could have been, looks like it might have been hanging on something else like that, maybe. Yeah, because there's nothing, there's no way to wear it as a bracelet, but that's kind of cute, those beads. Then my rhinestone necklaces. This one's missing some rhinestones though. So this is nice though. It looks vintage. So this one might be worth um, replacing the rhinestones in it. Um, Thelma was saying the other day that the that she does pretty well on the rhinestone choker style. So this one might be if. And it's round stones that are missing, and those are a little easier to find. Or maybe pearls. I don't know. Maybe just the faux pearls. So if it's the pearls that go in there, that'll be easier easier to replace. But I might actually work on that one. It's cute. And so here's another one of those white beads. It almost looks like the body of a butterfly, doesn't it? Not sure what it is, though. Anybody know what those are? Hi, Ian. My son, Ian, is on. He's the one that's down in Pensacola. Then a breast cancer pin. I don't know what this is going through there. It looks like a whisk, maybe. Huh, strange. Yeah, it almost looks like a whisk right through there. I don't know what that means. Anybody know what that means? What this going through there symbolizes? And these are glass pearls here. 
these are heavy these are glass so i'll put these in um, a crafter's lot and there'll be some nice um probably harvest of stones out of there but there'll be some nice glass beads i've got a, i've been saving a lot of these glass for the um crafters lots guys y'all said you wanted faux pearls so i've been putting a lot of those in there some acrylic but i've also put in some lot um, glass ones and this a little choker i like the color of these little choker style vintage So those will probably also go in a craft lot so you can repurpose them. Those are smaller. Not a lot of signed stuff in here so far. So, oh, well, wait a minute. This is signed. This looks like Chico's. Yeah, this is Chico's. Big statement necklace from Chico's. So, probably, actually, I'm going to do one giveaway on this video here in a minute if I didn't bury what I'm going to give away. I'm going to give away this silver ring. This was mine. It's been in my jewelry box for probably 25 years if not longer but i'm going to do a giveaway on this um here in a few minutes so anybody who wants to get in on that giveaway stay tuned so and this is a chico's necklace heavy one though then just wooden beads courage more crap lot this is a pretty pin pretty brooch It's not signed. Yeah, I don't see any signature on it anywhere, but it is pretty. Another one of those mesh things. Not sure what that is. Oh, check this out. This is cute. A little poodle brooch, green eyes. This looks vintage. But I do not see a signature. This one looks well made and it's held up really well. Mother of pearl beads. This looks like it might have a silver class. This is older too, but I'm betting that silver I'm going to test it and find out. Um, but yeah, it looks like Mother of Pearl. And these green ones are some kind of stone too. Yeah, I'll figure those out later. Okay. Big feather earrings. Hi, Francis. How are you? Big feather earrings. These are not marked either. They are kind of cute, though. Nice feathers. Okay, so on the silver ring, um, this has a lot of color wear. This will probably go in a craft lot. I don't know if y'all can do anything with that chain or not. Oh, wait a minute. It does have a mark, but it does have some color wear. So, um, huh, I don't recognize that. It says L Y D E L L, New York City. Lydell, New York City. Anybody recognize that? I don't know if that's uh, just the New York jewelry and um, one of their designers. Okay, so on the um, silver ring, um, let's see. You would like to see that San Juana 
Love the chain, my pile, please. Okay. This chain, which chain? Which chain, Rebecca? This one? The big one? Okay, I can put that in your pile. It's um, the chain itself looks like the tarnish will clean off. It's this part right here that has some discoloring. So um, you either wouldn't see it or would just have to replace that part. But the rest of it is not. If you're talking about another chain, though, um, just leave me a timestamp, Rebecca. Okay, so on the silver ring here, um, let me think. Uh, what is the question? I have got to think of these questions before I go on the air because I can never think of one at the last minute. Um, come up with a question for me, son, if you're still in there. Um, no, he'll come up with something really crazy. Okay, so if... Um, Okay, here's an easy one. So whoever is the first one to get this um, wins this ring. I was in, I did somebody else's show yesterday. Um, I was interviewed on someone else's show. Uh, Y'all know him as, most of you know him as Mike. What is his channel name? And the first one to get his channel name gets this sterling silver ring. It is marked, um, let me see what it's marked. It's, it's Mark Sterling. Like I said, I've had it for years and I believe I bought it at a pawn or something years ago, but it's Mark Sterling rather than 925 and it does have a maker's mark and it is a size, um, it's a size six and a quarter. So I'm going to let that roll for a minute because I personally on my feed can never tell who is the first one. And then in a few minutes, I will have, <laughs> you don't count Roland Picker. <laughs> in a few minutes though, I'll have somebody call it for me. Um, Vicki, are you in there? Um, oh, I see a lot of people got it. So Rebecca, if you can, go back and look and tell me who um, who was the first one to get it. Yeah, I think somebody got it before you. That was an easy one, I know. I got to come up with questions before I come on the air because I, I can never think of one last minute. I can't wait for you to come back home either, son. I saw that back. Angie got it first. Angie. Okay, Angie. Too bad I just sent you a package. Now I got to send you another one. Nice, Angie. Okay, so Angie, that goes in your pile. And Rebecca, leave me a timestamp on, um, hey, we might just make it through this big old jar here. It's a lot of big pieces. Leave me a timestamp, um, Rebecca. Surprised I haven't broken that yet. It's a really thin glass and a big silver. I get a lot of these in gold, but this is the first one I've gotten in silver, the big giant cup bracelet. This one's kind of nice. This one's made nice. But there is no name in it, but it is made nice big I'd say that's a good three three and a half inches maybe four okay this is interesting it's really lightweight and it looks like metal but it almost is too light it's something painted I think but that's kind of cool looking even the clasp has been, what do you call that powder coating? That's what it looks like, like it's been powder coated. You having a good day, Angie? Good. Okay, this is interesting. Let's 
sorry, there's something wrapped around there. I'm trying to decide if it's a, okay. All right, it's an earring. Check this out, though. This is awesome. Look at this earring. Thought I had the other ones in there. That is really cool. It's got... Looks like Moonstone. Moonstone and Rhinestones. And then this right here is like a little piece of acrylic but isn't that cool looking i don't see any name on it but that's so cool it doesn't need a name i like that let's hope the other one's in here lots of bracelets today rebecca this one looks like you this this one says rebecca you like that one rebecca arts and crafts yeah <laughs> That would be it, Angie. More rhinestone bangles. I always bury my magnet and all of that. Yep. <laughs> then a, this looks brass. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, not sticking. This is brass. This almost looks like it might be India. This is enameled and the brass is tarnishing a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's brass. Pretty. And this is um, quartz, chips, and... These I'll have to look at better to see if they're um, quartz or glass. I think they look like, looking at that one, I'd say they're quartz, but those are, that's a nice quartz bracelet. Quartz bracelet, stretchy, but nice quartz bracelet. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. This is pretty. This is um, uh, abalone. It looks like dyed abalone. I don't see any marks, but it, it's well made. Pretty. I like that one. Evil eyes. I guess that is a hair tie, maybe? What do you think, girls? Hair tie? Gonna go in my girls' lot. Oh, check this out. This is gorgeous. This is lacquered. Yeah, it you you want the abalone? Okay, it'll go in your pile. Bye, Joe. See you next time. Isn't this beautiful, guys? This looks I don't know. See, it's got the safety pin style clasp, and it is like actually in the resin and then it looks like it's probably some kind of resin with a lacquered finish but that's beautiful i like that nice that one's nice i'll put that over there in the good pile then i have this oh, i did see something fly by with the tag maybe then another um Maybe another Chico's. I don't know. Let me see here. Another. And these are all enameled. They're not the acrylic beads. But another statement necklace. And I think this one has a tag. This is. This is Leah Sophia. That store that I buy my jars from. Has a ton of Leah Sophia stuff. So somebody must have donated. Like they, I get a lot of it in the jars. And they have a lot of it in their. Um, display case so I think somebody must have donated a bunch of it but it's also signed Leah Sophia right there don't really care for this part um, but you can ch easily change that if you got rid of this then it wouldn't be so bad but nice color though I like the color on that poor Leah Sophia nobody wants, wants her stuff anymore
that. And that's the tangled part. And this is just glass beads and seed beads. It's a little tangled up. And maybe some kind of seeds. Little wooden beads. That'll go on my craft lock, girls. Those of you who like to craft. Bye, San Juana. Bye, San Juana. I'll see you. I hope you feel better, darling. Then just a um, little gold tone. Most of the time you get these, these are silver, but this is a little gold tone, um, stretchy rhinestone bracelet. And I've gotten these before. These glass beads are beautiful. I've gotten the beads, um, the same sort of um, bracelet. They're well made, whoever's making them, and the beads are beautiful. But I've gotten these in like a whole bunch of different colors, these beads. These are uh, look to be red, white, and blue. Ah, look at this. Okay, Angie. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's the calla lily flower like you got earlier. And it looks copper. It doesn't on the screen, but it is totally copper. Um, has a copper look. Let me see if the magnet sticks to it. This is beautiful, though. This is a beautiful um, brooch. Sorry, I got my magnet all stuck there. Yeah, it's not sticking. I think this is copper. I don't see a name on it, but is that not is that not gorgeous? The pearl coming out of it. And this has the old style, like Victorian kind of. Well, not Victorian, but it has a really old style. So I think this is vintage, and I think it is copper. Like that. Let me know if you like that, Angie. Hi, baggage check-in. Kind of reminded me of that piece you got earlier. Here's a little ring. Ring looks to be, let me check it here. This one could possibly be silver, very tarnished silver. No, actually, it's copper. It's really tarnished copper. This would be cute when I clean it up, but that's copper. It's not adjustable. It's just a copper ring. It was meant to be copper i mean it wasn't something plated that it's plating wore off this is an actual copper ring that's kind of cute it's tiny um probably about a size five or six actually it's a seven so that's kind of cute though i like that one ay 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 Okay, so I'm not going to try and untangle these now. This is kind of neat. It almost looks like a coconut shell or something. Somebody carved. Kind of has a Hawaiian look to it. Then on seed beads. And I will untangle this later. And this is kind of nice too. It's a um, wooden bracelet. I don't know what kind of wood that is. But it's a really fine grained wood. Nice bracelet. And that's nice, too. Looks hand-carved. All right. Check out this acrylic bangle. I think Thelma also said, too, that, um, that clear acrylic bangles did well. And I don't know if she meant just, like, clear or um, any color that are clear. But she said those did well. Um, I don't see any... They have these hooked together. I don't see any marks in that, but that's kind of a cool bangle. I don't see any seams. It's not plastic. It's definitely acrylic or lucite, but that's pretty. And just a big <laughs> pearl earring. 
no marks on it. And this one kind of looks silver plated. Looking for that other earring. I don't see it, Angie. Okay, this one looks like faux, like a rose gold fashion ring with an M on it. Yeah, I thought it was adjustable, but it's not adjustable. I am a, I am a McGarry. There you go. Cute. Then, of course, I get one of these in every jar. The hematite little fish. I don't think that's the real thing, though. I think that's fake hematite. Another bangle. Okay, this is kind of cool. And this almost looks like silver. I'm going to have to test that to find out. And it is a that type of a clasp, which does look silver too. So I will put that in my to test pile. I do find a lot of those that are silver, but the tail looks silver. That's kind of cute. May not be, but it sure does look it. So I'll test it later over there. Okay, nice. Heavy watch. This looks like a man's watch. Let me see what brand it is. I wish the, um, I wish my, I had my um, chat up on the screen so I could keep up with the chat. It's a little harder today, guys. I apologize. Um, if you ask me any questions, uh, just leave um, a comment after the video goes up and I'll answer them I'm trying to figure out what the this watch looks really sophisticated I'm trying to figure out the brand it's got a lot of buttons and knobs and oh yeah yeah but I see it's missing one so I'm not going to mess with it I can't see the brand though can't get the can't get the thing out of the way but it looks like it was a decent watch before it lost um before I lost the knob there. Anyways. Okay, another belt thing. Got a bunch of those in the last jar. Another button on earring. Or button style earring. And that looks like a CZ. I think I got the mate to that in the last jar. And here's another one of these things, guys. If anybody answered, I'll go back and look and see. But if anybody has an idea of what those are, there's been like three or four of them in different colors now. But uh, here's another one in black. Here's one in purple and silver. Yeah, not a clue. So it looks like Makeup Zombie is going live. So if any of you want to go and join her, then um, I will. Um, I'm fine with that. You don't have to stick with me. I'm almost done with this jar. Little mustache earring with googly eyes or giggly eyes as Crystal calls them. Little giggly eyed. Looks like I got both of those in this one. So I guess I have more than one pair of those. This is pretty. Pretty pendant. Not marked. Not a lot of marked jewelry in this one. This has not been one of my better jars. It's not awful. But you know what? This almost looks like part of the same bracelet that I got in another jar. I think I got the other half of it in another jar. One more of these. Yeah, I have not a clue what these are supposed to be. I'm sure one of you will tell me, though. <sighs> 
I know this has been a long video, guys. I apologize. Then a little charm bracelet. Purse. Whistle. Looks like a sport thing. Chain on this one. Looks like it's um, very tarnished. You can see the copper coming through on that one. And something signed maybe on this one. This one looks like it's in good shape. Was hoping for something really good in here to do another giveaway, but I haven't really gotten anything really good to give away in this one. Um, this is Banana Republic. And I did actually get this. If somebody is interested in this Chico, we can do a giveaway on this real quick and then I can let you guys go. Kathleen, you collect the angels. Real silver bangles, yes. Okay, so anybody interested in this Chico's necklace, if you are, we'll do a giveaway real quick, and then um, I will let you all go. So if anybody wants to go to um, Elizabeth's auction, you can. And there's just a few more pieces left here. I'll go over those in um, my next video, just a couple of pieces. Uh, honey, what is the temperature here? It's what? 15. Exactly. Well, write it down for me. My husband's going to write down the temperature here in Virginia Beach today. And the first one to guess the temperature um, today. And it will be between um, the numbers between 50 and 100. So if you're interested in this Chico statement fashion necklace, probably the only decent, really recognizable thing in this jar today. So we'll just go ahead and give away this. I like to try and give away at least one item from the jar. Um, it's in good condition. It's not missing any stones. All the stones are there. Everything's working on it. Did you write it down, honey? Okay. You want it? Yep. <laughs> I do want it. Okay, so Kathleen got it. It's 60. Did anybody get it before Kathleen? Um, let me know, Vicki, if you saw anybody get it before Kathleen. Kathleen got 60. And Angie, I have your address, but um, we'll see as soon as Vicki confirms my winner. You guys got it quick today. As soon as um, Vicki confirms my winner, then I will let y'all go. So Kathleen, she's getting congratulated. So I'm assuming. Oh, uh, the question was, what, what was the temperature here in Virginia Beach today between um, the numbers 50 and 100? Sorry about that. If you missed the question, Jennifer, I do giveaways every time. So next time. So Kathleen has it. Everybody's confirming. So Kathleen, just email me your um, mailing address at jewelrynurse1 at gmail.com. Also, I put my information in the description box below the video. So I am going to go ahead and say goodbye. I think we've been on here quite a while today. Thank you all of you guys for sticking with me for so long. And I will let you all go so you can get over to Elizabeth's auction. And um, yeah, maybe I'll drop in there and say hi after I clean up this mess. But love you guys. And I will um, put up a couple of videos during the week. If you have not given me a thumbs up yet, please give me a thumbs up. And um, thank you for all my new people today. Please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell button, all those good things. Um, but appreciate y'all coming. Love you guys. <laughs>